Hello and welcome to your news edition. These are the headlines. In this edition, we will make a quick review on the President of the Republic, Ardil Medjitabun's commitment to ensure drinking water to all the Algerians, especially in these hard times caused by the climate changes. Following the bad weather in the province of Tamna Rasad, the civil defense carries out several saving operations in the area. The 17th edition of the Jewelry Festival in Athiani in the province of Tiziuzu. The perfect occasion to discover the symbolism and the signification of the jewelry. Welcome back. Water and food security, one of the promises of the President of the Republic, Abdel Majid Tabun, who is committed to ensure drinking water to all the Algerians, especially in these hard times caused by the climate changes. More details, Rudan al -Bahri. In the light of the orientations and judicious decisions taken during the successive meetings of the Council of Ministers, the 30th commitment of the President of the Republic is concretizing on the ground, thus guaranteeing access to drinking water for all Algerians, a commitment that has become a priority in order to preserve the dignity of citizens. <laughs> يعني قادرين تقريب كل قريه نديروا لها المحطه نتاعها تحت تحليه المياه وهذا على اساس اللي في ظرف قصير the President of the Republic affirmed that Algeria has 1,200 kilometers of coastline and Algeria can integrate a seawater desalination plant in every village, adding that Algeria is the first country in Africa and the third in the Arab world in seawater desalination. And in order to ensure water security and thus meet the challenges of climate change, a new water strategy has just been adopted, a strategy based on alternatives and resources already available aimed at ensuring access to drinking water and water for irrigation. Water security is part of the general policies and priorities of Algeria and even of all countries. It ensures food security and national security as well. Thanks to a distinctive vision, the high authorities of the state have taken up the challenge in order to avoid any eventual deficit of this vital resource. In particular, through strict decisions, which consists of rational exploitation of groundwater, the adoption of transfer system between dams, the development of irrigation systems, and the treatment of wastewater. A series of preventive measures was also adopted, followed by the decision of the President of the Republic to build seawater desalination stations along the entire Algerian coast. We must have a long-term vision which was part of the commitments of the President of the Republic, who undertook to ensure food and water security. Today, we see that the decision of build seawater desalination becomes a strategic option to guarantee water and food security. With the construction of seawater desalination stations, the dependence on water from desalination will increase to 42% in 2024, to reach 60% by 2030. Moreover, and in accordance with the national strategy adopted to ensure safety, the southern regions of the country will benefit from a special program aimed at desalinating groundwater, thus ensuring the supply of drinking water to all the inhabitants of grey zones. Sustainable water security is placed among the priorities of the country's high authorities, taking into account its geopolitical dimensions and its close link with economic and social development. Following information shared on social media and statements on channels about a slowness from the Algerian Interprofessional Office of Cereals in supplying the national market with legumes and could last a few months, the Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Development denies these meaningless statements that generate an environment of intolerable pressure 
among our fellow citizens. The Algerian Interprofessional Office of Cereals has considerable and sufficient quantities of legumes and rice. These products are packaged and branded with the OAIC mark of the, or the Cooperative of Cereals and Pulses, CCLS, and are available in packs of different volumes, starting from one kilogram and with affordable prices. Following the bad weather and the storms that touched the province of Tamnanaset, the civil defense teams carried out several operations. These teams saved 20 people who were in a bus on the edge of Wedlmgel. The research operation is still ongoing to find two missing people. Members of the civil defense of Bojboririd fished out two people swept away by the waters of Wed El Malah that flooded following the storms in the province. The bodies of the two deceased, aged 61 and 40 years old, were deposited at the morgue of the hospital of Medjana. Another martyr in Palestine, a Palestinian was murdered by the Zionist occupation forces in the city of Jenin in the occupied West Bank. Dozens of settlers stormed on Thursday the esplanade of Al-Aqsa Mosque under the protection of the Zionist police. The citizens of Yellowknife received on Wednesday evening the order to evacuate because of the rapid advance of the forest fires. More than 160,000 people were evacuated in Canada since the beginning of a fire season that broke all the records with 230 current active fires. Stay with fires in Maui in the American state of Hawaii, 110 people died following a fire considered as the deadliest for more than a century in the modern history of the United States. Back to Algeria with the 17th edition of the Jewelry Festival in Ethiani in the province of Tiziuzu. A beautiful journey to discover the symbolism and the signification of the jewelry, a tradition perpetuated for centuries. More details with Daniel Bahri. Beyond the aesthetic aspect of Ethiani jewelries that have a symbolism and social function, these masterpieces, vibrant in colors, are telling us their hidden secrets. These jewelries speak to us and tell us the history of Kabylie region and everything about the past. Before, silver jewelries were something very expensive. It wasn't worn by anyone. Le bleu, donc le bleu. These jewelries are vibrant in colors. The blue means the sky, the yellow refers to the sun, and green symbolizes greenery. This piece is Tevzilt, and this one is Evzim. These two different jewelries are worn like brooches, and it protects against evil eye. This piece is worn at the top of the head when the woman gave birth, especially if she had a boy. The story between Ethiene and its inhabitants is a story of jewelry. Although the standards seem to change, everything happens here under the sign of tradition. The ancestors of the region left these models, but they are always reproduced in the same way and the same technique. It is always handmade. There is no machine. Each piece of jewelry has a meaning. As I show you before, this is Tevzimt and Devzim. The traditional 18e jewelry is attracting more and more visitors but we still don't know if it has revealed all its secrets. 
And with this, we come to the end of our edition. Dear viewers, thank you for being with us. See you soon.